not doubting Ramona's reporting. I do believe that's the message they're putting out. I just don't buy it long term. I think that's the proper thing to say and to push out right now. But I think they're going to do a legitimate search for a team president and then decisions beneath that will be made. Yeah, I, I buy it in the present, but once the dust settles, once they figure out which way is up, they get over the shock of Magic Johnson uh, leaving that position. Uh, Rob probably is not long for that position either. I, I, it was a good cop, bad cop marriage. It was a tag team effort. You bring in Magic for the charisma, the lure, uh, the star factor, and then, Rob, you do the dirty work with your reputation, uh, how you used to take advantage and uh, flex your power because you had Kobe Bryant and other powerful clients and those relationships that were damaged. You do the dirty work. You do the day-to-day. -day, and I'm Magic. I'll be the bowl on, 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 the, on the prize. Now, without Magic there, I don't see how that combo could even work with him with someone else unless you bring in a Magic type, which are few and far between. I agree that it's a matter of it's right now. I don't know if he's Mr. Right, but he's Mr. Right now because they have to go out on the free agent market. The idea that you're going to go through a search, you're going to go through a thorough search, you're going to find somebody, then you're going to put them in place, and then you're going to go out and you're going to find that other superstar that you're looking for. The timeline just doesn't work. Mm. Now, my understanding is that Jeannie Buss wants Kawhi Leonard. And I've even heard that she has a certain level of confidence that she can get him. Mm. I know that she doesn't want Steve Ballmer to get him. Mm -hmm. And Steve Ballmer, that's his number one target, mm -hmm. and they've been working on that. So that's at the, at the, at the heart of this. If Palinka gets Kawhi Leonard, yeah, I think he's not only Mr. Right now, he's mm -hmm. Mr. Right. He gets to keep that job. This summer is going to be the referendum on that. But keep in mind, the way the Lakers work, you're working from a small pool. You have to have a family connection to Laker Nation. And Rob has that through Kobe. Yeah. And Kobe, from everything I understand, just from what I have seen, Kobe, at this point, is probably more closely connected to Jeannie than Magic was. Hmm. And that in this battle, see, my understanding is... Oh, yeah, Black Mamba's hands are all over this. There's for sure. No question about for it. For sure. I think it's smoke and mirrors. Uh, they, they're looking for somebody. They got to get somebody to either appease LeBron James because everything that we hear about Rob Palenka is people aren't answering his calls. They're not calling back. He's not able to. Agents don't like him. GMs don't like him. How can you win with that? If that's a known fact, right, we all know that. Why would I move forward with the guy that potentially is taking an opportunity away from me where we're trying to build and get better? We have to be on the phone. We have to be in constant communication with all uh, 30 teams, 29 other teams. We have to do that, but we can't because of him. You have to remove that here's, here's, problem. Though, here's what I think Rick is saying, and I kind of buy it, that Rob Palenka went in and made an argument. Me and Kobe can get Kawhi here. Trust me, Jeannie. And she's, okay, you do that, you can keep the job, and we'll keep you in place for now. Here's the other part of it is... Well, how, talking, Rick. I, I, I believe... I'm listening, because that's my guy, Kawhi, over at the Clippers. <laughs> hey, so. you ready for I'm, him to come I'm, to... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm getting ammo right here to go back and counter this. Let's hear it. I, I honestly believe that this innuendo that nobody's returning calls... Let's think about that for a second. If I'm another GM, if I'm another team, why am I not taking Rob Palinka's call? Why am I not willing to listen to what he has to say or what he might be offering? I'm not doing my job if I don't do that. What I believe that wasn't, that's... Wasn't that the same thing they said Dale Demp Dempster wasn't calling yeah. him back? Yeah. So it's a relationship he's business, not, so that happens. Yeah, so, It's yeah. a relationship business. But Magic, Magic and LeBron were as, a part, as much a part of that because they were brazen in their tampering with Anthony Davis. Mm -hmm. That wasn't, I don't like Rob Palenka. That was, I don't like the Lakers. Rick, you guys think you can just... Rick. Advertise you're going to steal my it's guy? It's not just talking to GMs in the NBA. In, in, in football, either. You got to get the agent on board as well to some degree. And Rob Polinka has a problem with other agents. Yeah, and and that's the issue with I, I see the marriage between Rob Polinka and the Lakers organization lasting. They just went through this. Jim Buss. Jim Buss on his own trying to be the head recruiter, trying to be the guy that's going to be the gravity that everyone's going to be involved. Hmm? Kobe's involved. Well, okay, we, we, need, we need Kobe behind the scenes to do this, because if not, you just got Jim Buss plus in Rob Palenka, and that didn't have any fruit. I don't think that this will. Unlike Magic Johnson, and, and I don't, this is not meant as a pot shot, but it's just factual. Magic Johnson, oh, I'm Jeannie. Jeannie Buss is my sister. She can trust me. Those words mean nothing. Kobe's 
loyalty to Rob Polinka is real and legitimate and will be backed up by And action. that's why you got a uh, business and family. You got to sometimes separate that. And you got to go with what the right thing is. And, you know, listening to Kobe and feeling he's family, he's telling you that Rob Polinka's a guy. You got to get a president. So who's the president that's going to work with Rob Polinka? Who's going to be the head coach to work with those two guys? How's Kobe. that dynamic... <laughs> dy Kobe, man. Yeah, no. yeah well, if, if Kobe comes in, well, does that... Is that going to say that it's going to be successful? Kobe you said because, on record he doesn't want to do but that. But you thought because Magic no, 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 Johnson no, no. came no, in, yeah, it was, was going to be a and chance. And why? Yeah, well, Kobe's not doing that job. But, but if, I can, if I can operate, if I can pull the strings, but my name's not on it, that's the perfect place to be. Yeah. So he has Rob yeah. doing yeah. what he wants. He has Jeannie's ear and the ability to influence how the Lakers are run. But I don't actually have to wear the responsibility for the results. Or the criticism. That yeah. is the ideal place to be. And by the way, I don't believe this is by accident. I believe that Jeannie Buss, when she told Magic that he couldn't fire Rob Palenka, she knew what the response was going to be. I don't know that she anticipated that he was going to step mm -hmm. off right as soon as he could. Mm -hmm. But the idea that it would send him out the door, I don't think... I think the Jeannie, I think Jeannie, when she gave the emojis and she gave him the... It's good knowing you. Thanks for being here. Tell I think that, that was genuine. It yeah. was what she wanted to see happen. All right.